the new area for the greenhouse. I just put some holes in the ground here because the legs that are on the greenhouse currently, they won't detach. So the idea was tonight to lift the whole thing and walk it from the field way over there with about 15 guys and then put it right into this section here. But we tried, it wasn't for lack of trying. We just found that the greenhouse is actually stood up in an extremely high gravity area and it wouldn't move because it's just too darn heavy. So plan B is to take the greenhouse in two halves and to move it next week. And we'll park it right where that stove is. Off the greenhouse we go. I pushed over a few of these trees and made this about 28 feet wide. So we should be able to walk the greenhouse through here. So this big guy is 50 feet long and we lifted up one half of it. Well we lifted up the whole thing eventually but we lifted it up so that all the feet that are hanging out the bottom here are at least out of the holes that were in the ground. And uh, about 14 or 15 of us grabbed the side and that's about as much as we wanted to lift so we thought let's just take it, make it into two halves and take the thing out next week pieces. So I'm going to count off I guess six or seven of these ribs and then pull the plastic back and split it somewhere up here at the seam. The joint right there actually. So that gives us six of the ribs back. And we'll take it in two halves. So at least it's up the ground but it's well more than a couple thousand pounds. It's probably closer to 2,500 like little too much. Oh, we're getting the hurry up. You can dress me up so that's no this week's project is to prep this. And next week we'll move it. One plus one Some of the shelving is out now and those I'm side parts to roll up are sitting over there on the ground. I got the poly so turned back for half the greenhouse. So now these I first five ribs are going to come uh, first of course. And just have to go up there and split the ridge pole. And once that's done, it should just pull it apart. So you're probably thinking, why doesn't he just use that tractor and move this thing? Well, that's a good question. And the good answer is, is that there's not enough support on the bottom of this thing to actually pick it up. I was going to slip a couple of 26 foot uh, logs underneath it, which happened to be right there. Pick it up, but I think the thing would just start to buckle up. But you never know, we might end up doing that too. This is how you move a greenhouse. First of all, you get the boys plied with alcohol, and then you put them to work. Wake me up every morning with what do you think, Leo? What do you here for? Moral support? Yeah, the ask whispered, I love you to start yeah buddy. Mm, that's the kind of loving <laughs> I'll get used to. <laughs> and I promise I'll do my best to change my way. I like to go out drinking with the boys, carrying on and making lots of noise. I race up the street in a souped up car, stereo crank, smoke cheap cigars. Fish in the creek, dawn to dusk, whatever it takes, I like to make a fuss. I'm trying so hard just to figure us out, and now I got it down without a doubt. If love is a drug, then I Two. I'm a guy in love, head over heels to you. If love's a drug, I've had a hit or two. Pick me up, cause I'll fall for you. I'll fall for you. Pick me up, cause I'll fall for you. <laughs> Actually, I wasn't gonna help. How long did it take you to crack this apart? Oh long time. Took me all of a day. Yeah. <laughs> That's the master plan. Stack of dynamite, I'm a
spark The wrinkles on your body are a thousand beauty marks I wanna get you in my car, get you all alone Give it over baby, what's the number to your phone? You're a spicy piece of candy, wanna give you a lick You're a ooh, cinnamon stick Stick. 